All right, it is a, one of the last few days we're working on this, whether you want to believe me or not. That's just a fact of the matter. And working on it until we get in the water. There's still going to be a couple more things to do afterwards, but we're going to have to fiberglass this piece, which goes into the console, right? We're going to have to fiberglass over the seats that are for the rear box. Make sure that's all nice and fiberglass. We're going to fare those as well. And I actually think I'm going to come over and fair, I may, I may, I'm considering this. I'm actually, I think I'm going to come up here and fair this because I kind of don't like exactly how it looks. Uh, I need to at least sand it, but like, yeah, I think I'm going to come through and fair it in all honesty. Yeah. And then obviously the same idea over there and maybe even all the way up at the anchor locker bulkhead or I'll just accept that as being kind of crappy. But that's kind of the idea. So this, I'll have to you know, sand down right here because that piece is gonna be right here. I'm gonna worry about the starboard another time because that is what I'm going to be doing right here. And that's that. Well, that's not that. I don't think I'll have enough time, but in case I do have enough time, I am going to, well, if the paint gets delivered, I have to put another coat on the floor, another coat on the side. I also want to paint the gunnel caps as well as the, uh, ah, yeah, as well as the console. So I need to paint the gunnel caps, the console, the side walls, and then, or the, I guess the actual gunnels, and then the, uh, and then the deck itself. The deck is going to be non-skid again, but I don't think I have enough time to do that today because I also have to run to Home Depot and get some paint supplies for that job. I have to get some sandpaper for the console and for the fairing that I do today and stuff like that. So there's a lot that I need to get done today that I probably won't have time to do, but I'll be able to work on it tomorrow and finish up basically everything with the exception of hanging the motor and then maybe a few smaller things. So I think what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm actually getting a new truck tomorrow, uh, 2021 F-150. Eh, that's besides the point. So I think, I think after I do that, you know, that'll take like three hours, four hours, whatever it may be, unfortunately. After I do that, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do everything I can to finish up the boat in its entirety. Work until it gets dark. And then, uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll be able to go ahead and hang the motor on it Sunday. That's the plan anyway, so... Let me see what I can do. I'm also kind of unhappy with how short I made these cuts um, with the angles and whatnot. I needed this to be a little bit longer uh, on both ends. So I needed it to be a little bit longer this way, a little bit longer this way. And I'm trying to figure out if I remake it and just make it a little bit longer in order to save myself a huge fairing process or... <sighs> Or, or what, I don't know. I don't know what the alternative is. You can really see what I'm saying here. So obviously I want this to be flush and there's like my whole finger width that is there. And same idea with right here, not as crucial. I'll just kind of fair it out a little bit from here and then up. But I mean, if I could just add something to make it just a little bit bigger or, or recut it, then I may be able to get that route. I don't know. So I was only expecting to touch up a few spots. Obviously this doesn't look too good, but I'm gonna fill that in with peanut butter, right? I also have to wipe this whole thing down, but you can see I sand it out basically where the tabbing will go. So I could tab, I'm gonna fiberglass this in to the console, obviously. And then you can see it over here and then below as well.
not too bad. I was able to get it mostly even across, as you can see. Tried to get some rounded corners there. Looks a lot better than it did before, as you obviously know. And I'm going to, while it's still a little soft, I'm going to throw the fiberglass tabbing and everything over it. All right, pretty stoked with how this turned out. Look at it right there. And over here, obviously it doesn't look like crazy good, but uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I'll fare this after I sand it and whatnot, or something along those lines. And I actually had a really nice corner going all up and down until I put this last piece on, which is this piece right here. Uh, probably didn't need to put it on or at least like that or at least I could have cut it off but I was already in the process so I can just come back by and grind that down and ferret and you know I'll be able to make this look pretty damn good for you know adding a whole piece but that is the console I'm pretty stoked now mind you I still have to flip it over and do the underside but that's not as critical as the top side you know what I mean like I don't care if it looks bad on the other side I'm not worried about that all right we have a actual big day ahead of us and I don't really have much to do other than eat food because in all honesty I just got too pissed off yesterday and I went home early and didn't really feel like messing with it too much but this is our dried um, console at least I think it's dried. Yeah, it looks good to me. I'm pretty stoked on that. I'll have to grind all this today and uh, ferret, obviously, after. But before we do that, I'm going to have to fiberglass the bottom side of it. This is real white because of the uh, fiberglass dust and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm just going to peanut butter or I don't even know if I'll put fiberglass in. Well, probably. I'll peanut butter in there and then I'll just throw a piece of tabbing here or there and then just coat the rest. I'm not too, too worried about it, but I'll make sure it's all nice and coated. And then this was what was really pissing me off. And actually, well, see, here's the thing. You know, I worked so hard. Well, obviously this is stuck to it now, I know that, but like I was trying everything I could to try to get this 
to curve over and stick to it. And it kind of did in, in some spots, but obviously not everywhere. So I need it to be everywhere, like over here. Like it kind of did right here, but obviously not too good. So I'll have to grind that and I'm gonna fare that. Um, but yeah, it's super annoying, but. Tires, they, they see the Jarvis. And yeah, I'm like, seen my entire life. Dude, I bet that. That's, that's like. All right, Darth Vader. Darth Vader is back. And now that I'm sweating my balls off, let's take a look at what we have here. So, I sand it all down. It seems pretty dang on smooth. And I'm going to come through and fare it. There are a few spots, like right there, not good. Right there, not good. And everywhere else, I'm just going to fill in the gaps to make sure it's a nice taper. But for there, I'm going to have to be a little bit more uh, delicate. I don't know what I'm looking for. But then I am going to fare these seats. Crap, which reminds me, I should probably sand that. Those tops, but uh, whatever. Uh, I already took my suit off. So I sanded that, sanded over there. I'm going to fair it a little bit, I think. However, yeah, I'll probably fair it. I'll, I'll see what I have left over from this, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I should have cleaned it off first. All right, here we are. And so I actually, since I'm running to Home Depot anyway, I think I'm just going to bring the little vent because if I bring the vent itself, then I can get a gasket that fits and I just throw a gasket on the outside and maybe a washer or something on the inside, a lock washer. That may be a good idea. And then um, what I've done here, as you can see, I have fared the seat. I cannot reach the grind or hardly even fair under here, which is unfortunate because I have some bad spots, but that's not gonna prevent me from getting in the water. So uh, I'm gonna just leave that how it is for now. And that's fared. That is fared. I am pretty happy with how it appears to be going, but remember, I am gonna be sanding it down anyway. And for the record, I think in this box seat, I'm going to be holding the two batteries, I think. I have to figure it out. I think two batteries over there, and then the uh, two stroke all over there. But last time I checked, it is lunchtime, so I am gonna run up into town, get some lunch, and run to Home Depot. Let me write down everything that I need, and then I'll see y'all when I get back here, unless y'all like wanna see me eat food. Just kidding. Anyway, I'll see y'all when productive stuff actually happens. Wait, one more thing before I go, because I feel like this is a monumental moment here. It wouldn't make any sense if it didn't fit, but I want to make sure this fits in the hose before I go to like up into town. And uh, this has been on there ever since I installed the fuel tank, which was quite, I don't know, a month ago or, or two. So I feel like this is a special moment. Our waving goodbye glove hand is going to forever be gone. There we go. And obviously I need to cut this, but uh, yep. And put double clamps on there, but yeah, seems to fit. Now it's time to eat. I lied. I am gonna show you all my food because Zaxby's is fire. Uh, I don't remember if their coleslaw is good. I always get wings and things, but I got the five finger meal this time and they got some spicy Zax sauce. Ooh. 
and they toasted just right. Look at that. Oh, and not to mention this view. See, there's Zaxby's. We at the Home Depot. But then we got this nice little pond right here. I wonder if those people thought I was like filming them. They're probably like sketching up right now. Pretty nice. Again, I'm just going to be sanding down that. These are the only pads I could find. Yeah, I'm just going to go, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to do that over there as well. And uh, I'll update y'all. Sorry y'all can't see it, but it's literally just. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're getting there. I wiped most of this down. Again, it ain't perfect, but I tried to wipe it down as much as possible. There's a spider. There's another spider. Anyway, I'll probably get bit. Hopefully nothing too bad. Oh, look, another spider. But uh, I'm going to get this situated in there. I got to wipe down a little bit more along the rim right there. But this is about to go on the boat. <laughs> this is too not, too good not to get an active shot. That versus that. I don't even know if it'll do it justice on camera. But it is so much wider. You can see the difference here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go over those black, black numbers on the ruler. But there... There's texture to it, so I should be able to still see them. Go check this out. Nice. Eh, maybe once it dries. <laughs> so look, my friends, there are two right there. One, two, three, and then Bunny. He's normally not here, but look at him. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a little lumpy, but not bad. Not too bad. I mean, I'm going to be putting, you know, switches. Well, maybe I'll put them up here, but probably I'll put switches here, throttle there, steering wheel here. So most of this will be covered anyway. 